So Bonnie can watch them and take lots of pictures and just probably cry at how beautiful they are. I want to share with you a little bit about some of the important educational pieces behind children learning nursery rhymes. Why is this important? Why do we why do they why do we do what we do with them? So I'm going to turn into my research self for just a moment, and then the kids are going to take the stage. So research shows that our children learn more in the first eight years of their life than they will ever learn um, through the rest of their lives. In 1945, the average elementary school student knew 10,000 different words. Today, research shows that children know 2,500 different words. Um, I don't know if it's cause for alarm. It's probably cause that our society has become more visual and relies less on oral storytelling. But as such, we want to make sure that our kids have opportunities in our educational setting for them to use language in important ways because we know that it builds emotional connection, it builds the, it creates the ability to problem solve and be nuanced in our thinking. Rhyme is really important in developing phonemic or what we call hearing awareness. The power, um, the power of a parent or teacher sitting down and telling the story allows kids to paint pictures in their heads, and it becomes a very powerful tool for learning. Listening comprehension actually comes before reading comprehension. <coughs> in order for a child to understand what they are reading, they have to be able to hear the language first. A lot of traditional rhymes like Jack and Jill or Humpty Dumpty, they're repetitious, and they allow kids to develop basic memory structures and patterns in the English language. And then they put those things together as they become readers. It's important for the young children to learn to memorize through verse. The other benefits of reading and enacting nursery rhymes are the following. They're good for their brain. Not only does repetition of rhymes and stories teach children how language works, but it also builds memory capacities that can be applied to all sorts of activities. Nursery rhymes tell a story with the beginning, a middle, and an end. This teaches children's, children that events happen in a sequence, and they begin to learn how to understand stories and follow along. Nursery rhymes use patterns and sequence, so children learn to begin simple math skills as they recite them. Many rhymes also use numbers, counting, and other math words that children need to learn, such as size and weight, in very natural contents. Children develop their mouth and tongue muscles by using the different sounds in the rhyme. For any parents I have who are language therapists, they always come up to me afterward and they're like, that is so exactly right. They need opportunities to actually use their mouths to say things that are nonsense words and, and that are unusual. That helps them develop their articulation. Rhymes that involve movement help with coordination. Funny nursery rhymes allow children to develop a sense of humor. Nursery, an appropriate sense of humor, I would add. <laughs> nursery rhyme characters experience many different emotions. They can. They can help, this can help children identify their own emotions and understand real emotions of others. When children act out the nursery rhyme stories they hear, they learn to imagine, be creative, and express themselves. And then finally, the last thing I would add in sort of the 21st century spin on nursery rhymes is that our students will actually read the nursery rhymes and they'll identify, they'll build empathy with the characters and say, what are their problems in the story? And then they actually try to create, create design solutions for that, including when Humpty Dumpty falls off the wall, in the Tinker Lab, they will work on the design experience to create a way that Humpty will not break when Humpty falls off the wall. Or can you create something for the three little pigs that will allow them <coughs> to stay safe when the wolf comes and blows over? So they get an opportunity to tinker through the process, and that's a great 21st century spin on an old-fashioned <coughs> um, old literacy activity. So I'm not going to make them wait any longer. They are ready. Enjoy our show. Okay. I'd like to take just a quick minute for them to wave to you, and please wave back. Welcome to the Mother Goose Show. Sit back, relax, and enjoy.